They're the group of unlikely friends <laughs> that we see in every teen drama ever. Establishing the classic scene where we introduce each character and their social status because that's very important in high school. I'm the rich popular kid that's a jerk at the start but becomes kind and vulnerable as soon as the opposition starts. I'm the preppy nerd that tries to hide her intelligence just to fit in. You can tell by the way I hold my books close to my chest. And my trendy outfit. I'm the loyal jock as evident by my constantly concerned look and my letterman's jacket. I'm the airhead, whose sole purpose is to be the comedic relief. And to be a girlfriend if someone needs one. And I'm Brian! Their lives seemed so ordinary. <laughs> Holding up the menu and displaying the fictitious name of the restaurant that will be printed on exclusive fandom merch. Celebrity cameo. Out of place joke. <laughs> Brian! Only to find out, they weren't. Slamming the table to establish urgency while talking in a little ominous voice. Reminding the audience that the obvious solution is no longer possible. In recapping the dangerous and risky plan for resolution. Ugh, obnoxiously complaining about the need to encounter every possible obstacle in order to fill an entire season. While also insinuating my girlish naivete. Somberly agreeing. Pausing to feign deep thought while clenching my jaw to accentuate my model like bone structure, then making a decisive decision to reestablish my role as a leader. Faced with improbable difficulties, asking if you lost the ambiguously explained and abruptly introduced threat, vague affirmation, and then a complicated explanation as to how to save on production costs, pointing out the previously unnoticed severe wound on Brian to raise the stakes and to distract from poor writing. Just noticing the wound, saying that it's probably not a big deal, followed by an out of place joke. Oh! Doggishly snarls at Chad to imply my newfound werewolf abilities, and thus initiating the part of the season where we introduce a supernatural element to keep up with the preteen fan base. Simultaneously flourishing my vampire fangs. Uselessly crying in the corner to increase emotional intensity. Yelling a speech of peace and friendship that leaves the audiences unexplicably motivated. Discussing the male-dominated sport made popular in the show and my role as its captain. Adding to the sports conversation and the exaggerated importance we put on it as high school students. and asks for simple directions. Oblivious to any romantic insinuations and gets friction. Do we, Mama? The CW Network presents... Filler lines to inform the audience on the statuses of other characters' relationships or sum up the episode. Listening intently. Out of place joke. Every teen drama ever.